This is Ruth Guthrie. This module is about Customer Relationship Management, or CRM. CRM is exactly as it sounds. It's an information system that helps an organization effectively develop and manage their relationships with customers. This could be the development of leads to give to salespeople. It includes tracking contacts and their communications and appointments with your company. It includes making historic data about sales and communication available to everyone that has contact with the customer. It may even include information about the customer support and how satisfied the customer was with the outcome. CRM automates and organizes all activities related to making the customer happy. Having CRM systems enhances communication and collaboration between marketing, sales, customer support, and the customer. This figure looks a lot like what we saw in the module on ERP. Departments with separate systems work independently. To communicate effectively might take phone calls, office visits, or the luck of riding in the same elevator with someone who just heard from your unhappy customer. Dispersed systems result in more paperwork, increased support costs, and conflicting data. By consolidating data in one place, everyone involved with customers has an integrated, consistent view of the customer relationship. Further, people have access to the information from mobile devices so that they can sell and give appropriate support based upon accurate information. For example, if a salesperson knows in advance that a customer had a very slow response time from customer support, they would approach that meeting very differently than if the customer had no problems. The salesperson might be able to offer a discount or additional services to appease the customer and make them once more a happy client. RFM analysis. RFM, or Recency, Frequency, and Monetary, is an acronym to describe analysis techniques that help people identify their best customers. It comes from the idea, not necessarily reality, that 80% of your business only comes from 20% of your customers. Commonly called the 80-20 rule, it's applied to many different things. Identifying the best customers gives you a chance to sell to them, the rationale being that they are more inclined to purchase more because they already did. However, two problems with this are evident. One, if you oversell to these great customers, they might be upset that you are too aggressive. Two, if you focus on the customers you already have large accounts with, you might fail to develop a smaller customer into a larger account. Operational and Analytical CRM. CRM's value can be divided into two areas, operational and analytical. Operational CRM is simply tracking the customer interactions and data. That is what CRM was first developed to do, to have a central repository of all the customer data so that relationships were managed better and more efficiently. After the success of operational CRM, people began to get value out of CRM using predictive and forecasting abilities to help with building and supporting the customer base. Analyzing buyer behavior helps companies sell more products. Using models of customer behavior can also help companies predict what markets might be lucrative for them in the future. Let's talk about how CRM supports marketing. The three departments most involved with CRM are marketing, sales, and customer support. This is a list of the way CRM benefits the marketing department. Customer intelligence helps to design more effective marketing campaign, tracking effectiveness of marketing campaigns. CRM data helps to identify target markets with the most potential as new clients. CRM coordinates the relationship between marketing and other business functions. CRM can generate leads to pass along to the sales department. CRM can identify opportunities for cross-selling and upselling. Cross-selling means that you offer products to your existing customers that relate to things they already bought. For example, if someone opens a checking account, you may also be able to offer them a credit card or a retirement account. Upselling is very similar, but it focuses on selling more of what the customer has already bought instead of another product. Would you like a side of fries to go with that? An extended warranty on a car is a great example of that. I recently bought a soccer ball at Sports Authority, and they offered to replace it for free 
during the year for a fee of $5. I thought it had a higher chance of being lost than popping, so I didn't get the warranty. This is a list of what CRM can do for the sales department. CRM manages and automates the sales process. It helps a salesperson manage all their accounts and have access to historic account data that can help them more effectively sell. Once a lead is generated from marketing and assigned to a salesperson, CRM tracks the entire sales process, including meeting with customers, generating quotes, making the sale, placing the order, fulfilling it, and charging the customer. CRM manages the salesperson's contacts and appointments. It also facilitates sharing of best practices so the entire sales force can improve selling techniques. CRM has features to do sales projections and forecasting too. CRM supports customer service by performing case management, logging and tracking customer problems, knowledge management, finding and sharing solutions to customer problems across the organization, ensuring that the customer needs are known and shared among departments, follow-up management, it will alert people to follow up with a client to see that they're satisfied. It allows people to track and share historical data, and CRM offers reporting on customer service effectiveness. One customer support pillar that almost everyone has had experience with is call centers. Most people hate their call center experience and phrases like, can I speak to your supervisor? And that's ridiculous are not uncommon when trying to get phone help. A company known for customer service is the online shoe seller Zappos, who recently broke their own record for the longest service call in history. In 2011, a service call lasted eight hours and three minutes. The person wanted cycling shoes, but Zappos was sold out. The support person found him shoes at another website, but the customer started talking about bicycling and the cars he owned, etc., for eight hours and three minutes. The support person even had to put the person on hold so that she could use the bathroom, but she stuck with the customer and was pleasant the whole time. Zappos just recently broke their own record with a new call that lasted 10 hours and 29 minutes. This person actually bought a pair of shoes, a pair of Ugg boots. The main benefit of CRM is better communication for everyone involved in the sales process. Future CRM technology promises to improve the operational features and the predictive potential of CRM. Disadvantages of CRM include complexity and cost. CRM can be complex to set up and complex to learn. Also, people need to input a lot of data about their contacts and sales processes, which can be tedious and boring. Some people say CRM has a dehumanizing effect in that the relationships are so automated and tracked that it detracts from the genuineness of the relationships they are trying to build. Quiz time. What departments are most involved with CRM? Marketing, sales, and customer support. What is the main benefit of CRM? Enhancing communication and collaboration throughout the entire sales process. What are two types of processing? that CRM supports. Operational CRM to support the contacts and data collection during the sales process, and analytical CRM to add prediction and forecasting insight to customer behavior. That's the end.